This is a controversial statement and topic, but I firmly believe that the reason that most orthobiologic treatments, PRP, stem cell therapy, the reason that most of them fail in the healthy patient population is misdiagnosis. What I mean by that is the following. Let's say that you have low back pain and it is on the right side and it gets worse when you sit for long periods of time, when you bend over, and when you twist. Let's say somebody thinks that this is your facet joint because they got an MRI, there's a little bit of facet hypertrophy, maybe there's even a little bit of fluid inside the facet joint, and that provider does not do a thorough enough physical exam. They go and they inject your facet joint with platelet-rich plasma, and you don't get better. One of the possibilities, and what I believe is the most common reason is that the facet joint was not the cause of your pain. Now, yes, it had changes on an MRI and a radiologist wrote words about it and all that type of stuff, but that does not mean that it is causing your pain. And so in this scenario, maybe the pain generator was actually the sacroiliac joint. And if you put PRP inside the facet joint, that's not going to treat the sacroiliac joint and so you might not get any improvement in pain because the thing that is causing you pain was not injected and was not appropriately treated. Another example could be that it was your disc. And so if the facet joint is treated, your disc pain is not gonna get any better. And so ergo, you don't get better. And it's because of a misdiagnosis. Now there are other reasons why PRP and stem cell therapy cannot work. And, but I just, I think those reasons are talked about a lot. You know, the patient isn't healthy enough, uh, low quality PRP, uh, inaccurate placement or blind uh, injections as opposed to image guided injections. The condition is too advanced for what's going on. So for example, an irreparable meniscus tear is not gonna necessarily respond to, to PRP or stem cell therapy and that likely requires surgery. And, but I think just those things are talked about a lot in this space. I think the one that is not talked about is misdiagnosis. And I think it's not talked about because it requires the provider to say, I am not perfect. I sometimes get the diagnosis wrong. And this applies to me. I am saying that this happens to me. And it's, this is the one thing that I focus on the most with my continuing education, my learning is, is how do I get closer to that diagnosis such that when I go in with the PRP or the stem cell therapy, that we are getting the results that we want because our diagnosis is accurate. So if you've had PRP injections or even you've had a steroid injection and it hasn't worked for you, one of the things to consider is that the diagnosis on why you're in pain was incorrect.